Have I been muted? How long have I been muted, chat? I don't know. I mean, it was just NPC dialogue. I don't care. But I love how no one questions the uh, appearance of my characters and such. You're all Northerners, welcome to Assault. South is made up of hundreds of tropical islands. Before each island had its own towns and cultures, Beauty and Blight took most of them from us. Don't worry, there are lots of exorcists on the island to keep us safe. Chat, how long was I muted? If anyone is in chat right now that can tell me. What was the last thing I said? Was I muted during the cutscenes and skits? I hope not. Was I muted during Rokuro's Repension? Or Confession, rather? I hope not. Chat, give me one second. I need to know when I was muted. Is that that's not good? Never have I had that happen to me. Alright, you guys didn't miss much. I was literally just muted for that conversation that the guy had with Lava Set, which isn't a big deal. We got a secret fort hidden beneath the floor over there. Don't tell any grown-ups, alright? Alright, I'll keep a secret of your secret- I'll, see I'll keep the secret of your secret fort a secret. Oh, that just sounds so weird. I wasn't muted for that long. It was literally just that conversation with uh, Lava Set. Salt houses are on stilts so they can stay above the water. At high tide, the townsfolk look like one big raft. So that's the reason. At first I couldn't tell if it was clever engineering or shoddy craftsmanship. Alright. Never got to figure out what that was. I want to see if I can find what that is first. That purple little icon on the map. Chat, why no one tell me? No one told me I was mute. You guys not like hearing my voice? Go this way. I think I gotta go here. to find a way to get there and yeah, there's that I don't know how to get down there though. oh it's got to be like okay I think I see not the worst thing in the world I've never been muted for times when I don't want to be if I am I notice like right away but not the worst thing in the world at least I didn't really like commentate much no one really missed all that much, so it's fine. Trying to find a way... Over there. I know what you're thinking, no, but why do you care so much? I care. I care, like, a lot.
Come on. Air, how do I get there? Oh, it's literally just right here. Okay. Little area. What is this? Some folks up north criticize the people of South Gam for eating Peng Yan. I'm South Gam born and raised, but I see where they're coming from. After all, up north they eat a pig. Now that just sounds right cruel. I don't think you guys can compare if you guys eat penguin. Peng Yan. Oh, this is where the code red person is. Got no new code reds. Find that very hard to believe, but. So how do you like our island? Nice and laid back, right? It's quite a bit different from Logris. This place was even more relaxed before the opening. But recently, a lot of our young folk have gone starry-eyed about the city and left us in the lurch. It's still better than it was when the demons first started showing up. We have the Abbey to thank for that. And because people are traveling more now, the need for ships has skyrocketed. Our lumber industry is booming. In other words, when the money started flowing, people let it go to their heads? That and those exorcists and soldiers from the bigger cities, they really seemed sophisticated. People from the other islands wear different clothes and have things we don't, you know? Getting worked up and worked over by what's trendy. Is that foolishness not the very definition of youth? If this keeps up, our island's traditions will fade away. That's what worries me. I understand how you feel, but you have to give young people the freedom to be themselves. When I was young, when I was younger, I used to be proud of South Gan traditions. Maybe I'm just grumbling like a typical old foggy. When I was younger, I used to be proud of South Gan traditions. Oh, you guys say, oh, you're you're the same person. The culture here is rough, but not that's not the only thing that makes this place dangerous. There are many exorcists around that feel safer in the city where the Abbey is a stronger presence. Alright, I think that's enough exploring. I think now we can move on with the story a bit. Yeah. I don't care too much about the whole landmark, about that little area I missed. I found what that house was. That's good. As long as I get as much of the NPC conversation dialogues, then I'm good. an inn right there and a shop this might be how you get down there it might have to do with down here not here but like this section we used to live free freely in south Gan, so the abbey's rules have chafe but if you think about it any other way it's a good chance to mend bad habits right like how we can't just dive into the sea naked now we just have to warm and put on swimsuits what I hate these people. Still no leads on that grimoire lady. Magulu, when did you get that letter from her you mentioned? Hmm, hard to say. It must have been last year? A decade ago? Take this seriously or I'll feed you to the sharks. Oh, what? I think I'd at least rate a kraken. Keep this up and I swear I'll eat. It's them. The final preparations are complete. Once you've assumed your new post, everyone will act on your command. Thank you, sister. But to be honest, I worry that these shoes I'm filling might just be a bit too big for me. You need not worry. You possess a special strength and quality that others lack. Shepherd Artorius has high hopes for your deployment to Polymedes. Fear not. Just be yourself and you'll do fine. Believe you're a leader, and you will be. Yes. I'll try to make you proud, sister. They're sending him to Palamedes? Is that the name of a facility on this island? I had better get going. Safe travels. Oh, one more thing. Be careful around the demon and Haria. It's stronger than it looks. We've even had some casualties. Understood.
Also, if you must drink the water, remember to boil it. Sister. <laughs> I know, I know, I worry too much. But I just can't help myself. So, there's a demon in Haria. Well, sounds like it's a pretty feisty one, too. If so, it may prove useful. Still, what magical timing for Oscar to show up here at the very same hour we do. <sighs> I understand your suspicion of me, but have you any proof? None, it's true. But as an exorcist, you're certainly sympathetic to the Abbey's cause. And soon you may wish we were sympathetic. Eleanor hasn't been snitching on us. I'm sure of it. And how would you know? Are you watching her even when she's taking a bath? Huh? <laughs> no, I don't. I... I always stay outside when she's taking a bath. And... Then isn't it possible she's communicating with the Abbey in secret while you're not there? You pledged to obey me until the day you die, correct? Yes, that I did. Remember, when you two trade blows, only the Abbey wins. One less demon, and one less traitor for them to worry about. While we're standing around here arguing, that demon could be attacking Grimoire! <sighs> it's true. Let's find some more people to question around town. That was quite the close one, Eleanor. I bet you're relieved. Vessels and privacy. So what's it really like? Huh? The connection between Moloch and Vessel. Do you share, like, thoughts and feelings? Um, sort of. When I'm dwelling inside Eleanor, I can see what she sees and hear what she hears. But I can't read her thoughts or her emotions. Sitting in a box doesn't teach you how the box feels. I see. In that case, I want to give her as little time alone as possible. Uh, I don't want to bathe with her, all right? I know. You're a boy and all. For her baths, we can send Bienfu. No, that's a bad idea. It'll have to be Mogulu. Or myself. Phew! What sort of boundaries have you and Eleanor drawn? How do you sleep? We talk before bed sometimes, but it's not like I'm sleeping by her side or anything. It's easier for me to tell when she wakes up if I'm dwelling inside her. Does she ever get out of bed at night? Not in my experience. And she sleeps so peacefully. Huh? When she's around you guys, she always looks so stern. But when she's sleeping, her expression is... softer, you could say. She lets her hair down, too. And I think it's kind of prettier that way. Huh. So that's what he likes. Well, keep an eye on her, but... But? Watch out for the older girls. Huh? Take that advice, well, Lapiset. Older sister, younger brother. Lots of skits. Teresa and Oscar sure seem close. I've known them since I was an initiate, but I've never seen them quarrel, not even once. Did you ever fight with your brother, Velvet? Yeah, I guess I did. Sometimes I'd chew him out, and he'd sulk and stop talking to me, but I found that adorable too. You did? No matter how much he dug in his heels, or tried to talk like he was in charge, after a while he'd be right there trailing along behind me. Like a little puppy dog. Puppies are a lot more obedient. I always had to keep an eye on him. Little brothers are odd creatures. Rokuro's a little brother. Is he adorable, too? Huh? I don't think a little brother who's out to kill you is in any way adorable. But Shigure seemed like he was having fun. 
Sometimes you just don't make sense. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> Little brothers. Do you have any siblings? I'm an only child. Well then, that's perfect. You pretend the boy is your little brother. Huh? That's a bit extreme, but actually, when I'm talking with Lafayette, sometimes I think, this is what having a brother must feel like. I could be Eleanor's brother. Don't take any of this nonsense seriously, Lafayette. Malakim are just tools to exorcists. She can never think of you as her brother. Oh, yeah. You're wrong. I've changed how I view Malakim. I know that's true because I can think of him as a brother. Right. She's all talk. Don't believe her. It seems to me like you're the one who's treating him as a tool by forcing your own opinions upon him. Ooh, two sisters struggling for the affections of their brother. Eeny teeny candlestick. Which one will the Muppet pick? How about an older brother instead? <laughs> okay, that was that was a good one. As they all are. Oh, there's some new event bubbles. We're gonna want to go back there later. Hey, give me. Here is the person. The people of Southgand originally worshipped Amenuch, the Empyrean of Water. The lives of the people of the Southern Isles are inherently tied to the sea. Whether it was gratitude for a good catch or an appeal for protection, everyone offered their prayers to Amenoch. But the Abbey worships in Nominot, don't they? Do the people still keep their faith? Most of the people obey the will of the Abbey, but one small village deep in Southgand is a special case. The village is called Haria, and even now they keep their faith in Amenoch. They've even quarreled with the Abbey. I'm grateful that they fight off the demons. I really am. But do they have to dictate which gods we worship to? They think they do. It's their truth. Then again, they can't control what's in your heart, can they? No, I'm not in the Amenosh. Am Amenosh? Yeah, Amenosh will offer their blessings to humanity. I want to pray to both to give my thanks, but... All right. More NPCs. What's up? Did you hear about Haria Village? There's a real nasty demon over there. Even the exorcists aren't able to handle it. Weren't they the ones who disobeyed the Abbey and kept worshipping their old gods? Sounds like they got what was coming to them. 